Joey Cassano right here. Let me line this up a little better for you guys so you can see me. Last night we hit a big game. We hit send out to all of our guys to play. We told everybody that got with us on this game last night to take the Clippers plus the five and a half. They easily dominated the entire game, outscoring OKC in the first three quarters and uh, went straight up as a five and a half point underdog. Like I said, we sent out to our list. Then we have a good play. We got a winner, almost a guaranteed winner. Nothing's guaranteed, but we did guarantee that if it did lose, we would refund the money. However, we didn't have to go through that refunding process, like I said, because the Clippers easily dominated OKC. It was never a yeah, – I go ahead and tell you, if that game would have lost after halftime or the third quarter and they would have not got the cover, I would have – I would have. Yeah, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you guys. Anyways, we'll talk a little bit about Brooklyn and Miami. Everyone's talking about how Brooklyn's 4-0 against the Heat for the regular season. You know, I don't think that means a lot. Some people say it means a lot. I disagree. I say the first half of tonight's game will probably be a little bit tight. Not making it a huge official play, but I like uh, Miami minus the 7.5. Um, I'm seeing 7 Seven and a half, even eight across the board. I'll take the eight. I like a minus the eight. I hate uh, I, I just I just don't like I don't like uh, Brooklyn plus the points in this game. Uh, you know, I mean the thing about the thing about Brooklyn is there's all those guys, and I'm a Brooklyn guy. Don't get me wrong, but all those guys are past their prime. Pierce, Garnett, you know they got a new coach. You know, I mean I just I just think the smart play here is Miami minus the points. Definitely not as big of a play as it was last night's Clippers game. Um, I'll definitely be tuned into both games. I think Portland and plus the seven is honestly a good play. However, the public is all over that one, so that kind of wears me away on that. Other than that, let's go over some gambling statistics on these two games. Let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are we? Okay, Brooklyn 48-41 over the year, straight up 46-42 against the spread. Miami 40-42, excuse me, 40 and 44 against the spread. At home, Miami's 34-9 on the road. Brooklyn 17 and 27. You see what I mean? Like I, I know, I know that they beat them four times, but that was in the regular season. This is the postseason. I know a lot of people don't like LeBron. I think he's a freak of nature, and I uh, respect the way he plays. I've seen a lot worse, cockier NBA players in my time. And I just think that um, Miami in the postseason at home is the way to go tonight. Take them, lay the points. First half will probably be tight. Miami pulls away. Get on over to the website. That's the winningwagers.com. If you would have been on that list yesterday, you would have found out about the big play. And I don't care who you are watching. You can be rolling your eyes all you want. Nobody, nobody likes to uh, miss out on winning money. Everybody loves to win money. Get on over to the winningwagers.com. My name's Joey Cassano. Sign up for the free pick. I am not new at doing this. You can look at my YouTube channel. I've been doing this for a few years now, and there's a reason that I've been doing it for a few years now. It's because I'm a above 56% capital. Let's put it that way. Get over there, sign up for the free list, and uh, you can find me on SBR covers. And don't, it really doesn't even matter. And you can find and you can validate my credibility. And uh, hopefully, I'll hear from you soon.